my name is Constance and thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel to hear my story about how I got COVID. Um, it's not a good topic to talk about. Um, it's a very negative thing that's going on um, in the world today and it's sad that it's become, you know, part of our everyday life today. Um, but I wanted to make a video to share with you guys on, um, the symptoms and my experience with having COVID, um, for those who, um, just became positive for COVID and may need some reassurance because I know I did, um, when I tested positive for COVID, um, I was watching YouTube videos like no other, um, because it kind of helped gave me a sense of reassurance and it gave me hope you know through the whole thing that i was going to get better so i know that this is a trying time right now and it's a sad moment but you know i think hearing other people's stories can help other people too um with their experiences so um i hope mine's um will help you guys as well so um let's begin how it all started so, um, my first, so I know where I got mine at, obviously, um, I'm a nurse, um, I work, um, I work in a nursing home and it's, COVID is running rapid in a lot of the nursing homes everywhere. It's a, it's a big thing in a lot of nursing homes. Um, so I had, um, came in contact with one of our, um, patients who had, um, tested positive for COVID. Um, I was around them um, before they had actually tested positive. Um, like a week before they had tested positive, I was around them. And um, then she started getting a cough, like a really bad cough. And then we were like, well, we need to probably go ahead and test her for COVID. And then sure enough, she tested positive for COVID. And so um, a th like three days later, um, I had started showing symptoms, um, and it was, it wasn't, it was, it was kind of weird. Cause I know in the back of my mind, I knew I was like, okay, if she had tested positive for COVID. I know for sure I'm going to get COVID since I was around her before she had it. So, um, on the third, it, well, I would say it's the first day uh, that I started experiencing symptoms. I had like a stuffy nose, um, the first day. And um, I was feeling like hot flashes. Like I was really, really hot. I was waking up one morning and I was just, I was just burning up. And it was like 30 degrees outside. And I was just like, let me go outside and get some fresh air. Cause I'm, I'm burning up. I need to go outside. So I went outside, I went outside in a tank top and some, I think I was wearing like some pajama pants or something like that. And my boyfriend was like, why are you, are you going outside? And it's like 30 degrees outside and you wearing a tank top and some pajama pants or whatever. And I'm very sensitive to the cold. Like I am like, I don't have, I have a really, my tolerance to cold is very weak. <laughs> Let's just say that. Cause I'm, you know, I'm bundled up in almost everything. But this day I was like so hot. Like I went outside and I was in like third degree weather, cold, it was freezing. It was like wind blowing, everything that day. And it felt good to me to be outside that day. So I knew, yeah, something was up that day for sure. Um, and then um, that same day, um, I was feeling the off and on hot flashes throughout the day. I didn't have a temperature or anything which was weird but I was just feeling really hot and it, the funny thing about it is while I was going outside back and forth and I was just like panting hot and I had the fan on in the house the whole time my boyfriend was wearing his big winter coat the whole time and I'm just like looking crazy and I'm like well obviously I'm sick for sure um so I had that the first day um, the second day I woke up and I started feeling, um, like some heaviness in the back of my eyes and I was feeling very, 
my, my eyeballs just felt like they were just really sore like somebody had punched him like a thousand times and they were just like just just really sore and it, I just felt like really drowsy that day um the second day I was still having the stuffy nose um that day but I wasn't having um the hot flashes that day like I was the first day um um so then I was just like yeah this is yeah I'm feeling it for real um that day um so I had just those symptoms that day and then the third day my breathing I wasn't feeling no shortness of breath or I wasn't feeling any pressure on my chest at all I was just feeling like I couldn't take a complete breath like I normally would when you normally breathe um, and I just felt like um, every time I would stand up for a short period of time, like even two minutes, like I had to sit back down because I had to catch my breath. And then that's when I started like was thinking, OK, my breathing's not just getting kind of, you know, it wasn't too bad. But I was like, you know, I need to start getting tested. I need to go in and get tested. So I went in and I, I went to the clinic and I got tested on my third day. And um the tests, it is pretty uncomfortable. Um, it's not too bad for my experience. It wasn't. Um, the only thing that sucked about mines is like um, the nurse who took mines. She had to. Uh, she had a hard time getting in one of my nostrils because I think uh, I had like a, like a deviated septum, so it was kind of hard for her to go all the way back in my um, my nostrils. And so I started bleeding really bad in one of the nostrils when she had done that one. So she went and she did the other one like they usually have to, like all the way back there. Um, it's It kind of sucks because they're in there for like 10 seconds, 10 to 15 seconds back there, just going in there. And um, I just remember I was crying. I was like crying. I had like tears coming out of my eyes because it was just, it just made my eyes water really bad. Um, so it, she left, um, waited on the doctor. They come in, listen to your lung sounds and everything. They check your O2, make sure everything was okay. Um, luckily, my O2, you know, even though I was having like the breathing irregular, irregular, the irregular breathing problems, it wasn't like breathing problems. It was just really irregular than I normally do. I don't know why it was so hard to say like that, but. Yeah, I my O2 was like 98%, so it, it was still really good, which I was glad about because I was nervous about my O2 being low because um, COVID can um, make your O2 be pretty low, um, sometimes even without you even knowing it too. Um, so I did like a rapid test. Um, so after I was taking the test, like I got a call five minutes, five hours I was gonna say five minutes it was actually five hours later I got a call and they told me sure enough I was positive for COVID and I knew I was positive for COVID um already I knew I had been and um so once they had told me that that's when the anxiety really started sitting sitting in me like really bad hardcore because um sometimes you don't know if your case is going to be worse um as you progress through the days or you just you just don't know how you're you know it's going to go for you and so i was just worrying about that constantly the whole time um as i was you know you know in quarantine and i was with my boyfriend you know um at the time that i had tested positive and uh, that's when we decided we needed to, uh, that's when we needed to like be apart and, um, you know, and it luckily enough, we had our own apartments to where I could be able to, you know, quarantine myself away from him. And, um, so I went away from him and my own apartment, um, he would come and he would, you know, do, he would bring me whatever I needed at the time, like I was just eating soups and I was just drinking water the whole time. Um, cause I did not want anything else. That was the only thing that really seemed soothing. And I really wanted to just have something that was hot that I could just take down, um, the whole time while I was in quarantine. And, um, it was pretty lonely, 
being in quarantine, like I felt like that was the most like, you know, you know, sad feeling I've ever felt because you're alone and you don't know how you're going to feel or if your case is going to get better or not. And you're just with this anxiety this whole time. You're just with your mind. And that's what I was feeling. I think more than anything, the worst thing about this was for me was feeling the anxiety of of it and just not knowing the unknown and just dealing not I wasn't by myself I had my boyfriend but it's just like you're actually physically by yourself and you know you wanting him to be there for me you know you wanting that person to be there uh to just comfort you physically in every way while there they just can't because you're with something that you know has to be contained and you know has can't you know be spreadable and you don't want to spread it to your loved ones and that's one thing that I, I was concerned about was giving it to my boyfriend and the crazy part about it is that you know even though I was around him you know a little bit before I tested positive he still didn't end up getting COVID um which I'm very proud about but I'm you know kind of surprised about but I'm glad that he didn't end up having COVID um so um but yeah um so on again to the fourth day so the fourth day that's when i started getting hot flashes again like i did on the first day so the weird thing about this is like with covid you're like you're feeling new symptoms each day but sometimes you have the same symptoms and they keep they they, they come back and then they go away and they come back um and so on fourth day i started feeling hot flashes again and i started sweating really really bad i was like had drips of water coming down off my face i even had drips of water coming down off the sides of my armpits and everything like i was just like in a sweat bath on the fourth day and then on the fourth day i also started losing my sense of smell and my sense of taste on the fourth day i remember i had was eating some chicken nuggets was eating some chicken nuggets from Brahms. And I remember I was dipping it in some white gravy. And I love me some chicken strips and some white gravy. And I just could not taste it. It just started tasting bland. And I was like, this doesn't taste right. And I'm like, because I I was watching some YouTube stories. And I was like, that's when your taste buds starts going away. Is when your food's tasting like it's bland. So I was like, oh no. I was like, man, I'm starting to lose my taste buds. And then I was like, well, let me see if I'm losing my sense of smell. Because I know, you know, when you lose your sense of taste, they say your sense of smell goes along with it too. Um, sometimes, in some of the cases. So I had like got some perfume. I started to spray my wrist and I couldn't even smell it. Like I literally couldn't even smell the perfume. And then I even brought it up closer to my nose like this. And I couldn't even still smell it, which sucks. And the even suckier part about it is, is that even though I'm two weeks recovered from COVID, I still cannot taste or smell anything till this day. And that's one thing that I had looked at online and some people still weren't getting their sense of scent, their sense of smell or their sense of taste for like a month. Um, and I was like, man, I don't know, maybe it, it's looking like I might be losing my sense of smell and my sense of taste for a month. I mean, I don't know. My golly, like if I can't get it in these two weeks, like I'm probably, you know, waiting probably about a month. Probably. It sucks because I don't have the cravings to eat what I like to eat. And I love to eat me some food. And it just sucks when you just don't have your taste. So mainly during quarantine that I was in quarantine, my boyfriend was just dropping me soups, soups and um, water um, at my door. Cause that's mainly what I felt like, you know, I can kind of felt the texture and everything. And I was trying to think of what it would taste like um, when I was eating it. So that was the main thing, what I ate during quarantine and drinking a lot of tea. Like I drunk a lot of tea, uh, a lot. I would drink a lot of tea and a lot of hot water with lemon and honey is what I mainly drank the whole time. Um, I felt like that's what helped me start feeling really good too um, with it. 
um along on a side note along with now we're talking about kind of the things that i felt like helped me um the tea hot tea drinking hot water with lemon um and honey and then i also my aunt was telling me to start doing like making like a sweat bag um because she was telling me you know the best thing because she had had it too and, and everything and she thought what helped her was doing a sweat bath so she was like you need to make you some hot water make you a hot bath really hot bath like a really hot bath because she likes to take hot hot baths and i do too that's just me i like to take scorching scorching hot baths like to where you're burning your ass cheeks off like crazy hot um and so she was like yeah make you a hot bath water hot bath and you know Put over some baking soda in the water or some vinegar in the water to help you make you sweat more. So I started doing that like on my fourth day. I started doing that like kind of like my fourth day kind of almost on until the end of my quarantine. And so I would just sit in the bath and I would just soak in there. I would soak and I would close like the shower curtain um, and sit in there to kind of make it more like almost like a... Um, like it, make it more insulate, insulated, um, like a steam shower, like a steam, like you're in a steam bath or something like that. And I would just sit in there for like, honestly, I was sitting there from like one to two hours and I would just sweat, pouring sweat. I would just sweat in there. And sweating is really good because you're sweating all that toxins out of your system and you're sweating all that bad, you know, you're sweating part of that, you know, COVID out of your system too, um, which is really good. So that's what I did. I sweated out like no other until the end of my quarantine day. And I feel like that really helped me a lot, along with just drinking a lot, a lot of hot water. And I would drink hot tea from morning to night, like a regimen for a prescription. Um, so yeah, I recommend that people do that um, as well. Um, so then that that was a side note from some remedies. Um, but yeah, so on the fourth day, I lost my taste buds. Fifth day, I started to um, I started to get like a really bad headache on my fifth day because I remember it was like the worst headache I've ever felt before. And I was dizzy the same the same time that my head was hurting, and nothing was helping my headache. Like I was taking, I had taken a Tylenol, I tried sleeping, and I still was like my head was pounding. It was it was horrible. And the worst thing apart from it was that I was dizzy the same time. So that day, it it really sucked. That day, um, on the sixth day. And the crazy part about it is, is like I would wake up and I would feel fine after sleeping in the morning. I feel fine. I feel like a new person. But when I start going towards the night hours, it was like clockwork, like a new symptom would come up and I would start feeling bad again. And so on the sixth day, I had started feeling um, my breathing started getting a little bit worse a little bit. It wasn't no pressure or anything happening. Um, I was still feeling a little bit more short of breath on the sixth day. Like I still couldn't stand um, for too long and um, and not feel like I was out of breath. I felt like I was running a marathon all day every time I would stand up. Um, and my breathing, yeah, it was just irregular on that day. And then on that day, I started feeling like sharp pains in my heart area and I was starting to get very anxious like even more because I was like man I'm this is like this is scary man feeling the sharp pains in my heart and then I was feeling these weird feelings in my lung and my chest area like little pops of bubbles is what I would probably describe it as like bubbles crackling in my chest it felt like something was popping or something it didn't hurt but it just felt weird and then it just felt like some pair of hands was like tingling in my chest like it was just just felt like somebody was tickling my my lungs or something it just felt really weird so I would feel these weird sensations in my chest and these sharp pains in my heart um all that day and then 
on the seventh day, it just kind of, it just started, you know, it just started to, you know, slowly going away. Those symptoms kind of carried on from the sixth day to the seventh day. And on the seventh day, I felt like I started feeling better on the seventh day. I was like, hopefully I don't have any more symptoms coming back anymore. Um, on the seventh day. So I started feeling good on the seventh day. Um, and then there from on out, I was feeling better from there. Um, so I would say I had it for a good six days. Um, and I was fortunate enough and I'm thankful enough to say that I had a mild case of it. And I have, I just remember in one of those sweat baths days that I was in a tub just sitting there. I remember just praying to God just praying out and telling him, please, please, you know, be here for me, please. I only ask you this, you know, please be here for me. Please help me with this sickness that I'm having in my body. Help me treat it. Please be with me. And so I prayed. I was praying a lot um, throughout the whole time. And I, I really felt like, you know, God helped me get through this experience of it. And and like I said, the main thing that really sucks about this is just, you know, being alone away from your loved ones, being isolated, and then the anxiety part of it all just is really nerve wracking because you just, you don't know and you're just, you're alone. Um, and my boyfriend helped me a lot through that, you know, with my anxiety, my thoughts that I was feeling. I was just kept feeling negative thoughts the whole time. And I would talk to my boyfriend, I would FaceTime him. In my times that I was on my own and he would just give me encouragement and he would just say, you need to stop thinking like that. You're going to be fine. You stop thinking like that. Let's think positive. And that's one thing that I'm thankful for is him too, because he was my saving grace too. You know, him, you know, bringing me water, bringing my soups at the front door, he even brought me flowers and a Goodwill card at the front door, you know. He was wonderful through the whole time. And, you know, going through that experience, you learn so much by your, you know, about yourself. And, you know, you learn to love the people that you, that are in your life, that are important in your life even more um, through this experience. Um, I just want everybody to know that um, this is a very serious matter. Um, it's, you know, I just, I just want people to just take it serious, um, because this is a, um, this is a virus that is very easily to get, you know, I was at work and I still had all the precautions that I was taking. We wear masks day in and day out the whole time we're working. We wear gloves, you know, day and out. We wash our hands frequently at work ever since this whole thing's been going on, you know, it's it's crazy how easy it is to get it and i just want people to just you know remain cautious um and alert um of your surroundings and everything and please if you can wear your mask um while you're out if you can um i hope that this was a helpful experience um and i hope that it gave you hope for some people who are out there again who just tested positive for COVID and need some sort of um, hope out there or anything. Because I know I did. That's all I was doing when I had COVID. I was just watching videos after videos because it kind of, you know, made me feel great and felt me felt good that knowing that these pe other people had COVID and they were doing fine and recovering from it. So just know that that you're going to do fine. You're going to recover. You're going to be fine, you know, and just pray. I say prayer is the best thing um, to pray to God because he's there for you too. Um, I just want to say thank you so much for watching my video and I hope all you guys have a great day and God bless.